G'day creative people, author, artist Matt B on day 28. Okay, today is a day off from creativity, it's a day off from work, it's a day off from doing anything technical um, or business related, it is just going to be a day up in the Atherton Tablelands where we're going to do some physical activity um, out in the sun, out in the fresh air. Um, we're going to do some fishing later on this afternoon and going for a swim in the creek. But today the priority is going to be helping my mate build a bird aviary with my kids. So we're out and about and uh, we're getting some posts dug into the ground. We're going to do some concreting. Uh, I think you can see it over here. There it is in the background. Our work area. So we're going to be doing some real creativity stuff in the yard instead of uh, in the technical space. It's really good to be able to get out of your space sometimes, get away from technology. I mean, like, I've got the phone at the moment, which is technology, but apart from that, we are a technology-free zone. The reception here is really bad, so it might take me ages to be able to post this video up, like it did yesterday. It might be a really late post, um, but it is good to get out and about. It's good to have some fresh air. It's good to get some sun. Get away from the techno technology and the dependence on iPads and computers and whatever else you use to do your stuff. Um, and just helps with the creativity of your life. It helps free up your brain. It helps you start focusing on something a bit different. It's good for your health too. Come on, let's face it. It's uh, really enjoyable to be out and about. Um, but if you are in the creative space and you still want to be uh, progressing some other things, try the Think 5P. Try going through the idea creation and then work through the 5Ps. Think of what the protagonist is, uh, who they're going to be, what type of character. Um, are they going to be human? Are they going to be animal? Are they going to be alien? And then work on the place. When and where is your story going to be set? Um, it can be set on Earth. It can be set on a distant planet. It can be set in current time, in the past, distant future. Who knows? And then think about your problem. What is the problem that your main character or your protagonist is trying to overcome? Make the problem challenging enough so that they have to work at it and fail a few times before actually making the solution or overcoming the problem. And then once they get to that, we work on purpose. What is the purpose that's driving your character? Why do they get out of bed? Why do they even care about solving the problem or defeating the evil forces? And the last P, is uh, the payout. What do they get? What's their reward? Is it a physical reward? Do they get cashy money? Do they get jewels and gems and gold or um, win a kingdom? Or is it an intrinsic reward? Do they gain knowledge or experience? Do they learn something that can help the planet, help themselves, help their village? Um, and then once you've got those all worked out, that's the structure for them pulling it out and creating the outline for your story. And once you've got the outline of your story, the fun really begins. That's when we start filling in all the details and start getting our first draft. We haven't done that for hours yet, um, but we were getting, we're going to be getting there. So hopefully when I get back to the office, probably around about Tuesday next week, um, I will work on the outline with you guys and show you what my first draft is looking like. But until then, this is author, artist Matt B. Out in the bush, um, having a fat time, really enjoying myself. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. Thanks for sharing. And uh, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.